Hey guys, today I'll be doing an updated what's in my bag video. I haven't filmed for about two weeks because I had a really tough week last week. I don't really want to get into it, but we'll get back in the swing of filming with a good old classic what's in my bag video. So this is my most recent bag. I believe I've shown it in one of my favorites video um, two months back. This is a coach bag. I got this from DFO or Direct Factory Outlet here in Sydney, Homebush. And it's a really, it's a really versatile bag. The reason I got this one is because the size of it, first of all, is really great for my use because I like to carry not a lot but quite a few things with me, especially I got this one for my camera. My camera also fits in here, which I'm filming with. And also the material here, this material is not actually leather, it's actually quilted, um, like waterproof material and it's really unique if you look at it. Kind of looks like a pineapple pattern. <laughs> and here you can see there's a crossbody um, strap and I use this for using it every day for crossbody. But if you don't use it for crossbody and you just hold it like this, it's also very versatile because this bag, I mean this strap is not too long that it hangs down too low and also this little thing when I actually bought it I thought you know this little handle is a bit too small to do anything with but if you actually got it on your arm like this it holds really comfortably and also the little coach tag here just a little accent piece <laughs> so we'll dive into what's in here that's what the inside looks like so it's just normal grey lining with the coach label there too and it's kind of unfiltered because I just grabbed my bag as it is so basically right now it's pretty messy with receipts and used tissues probably as well <clears throat> so the first thing I'll grab out is obviously my phone this is a Samsung Galaxy S3 I looked at the S4 yesterday in one of the Samsung demo places and it actually looks pretty interesting because they have the um, what you call it the hover thing like you can do this to the phone and it flips the screen and you can put your finger not touching the screen and you can scan some documents as well it's really cool but I'm still contemplating whether I should upgrade or not it really depends on my plan as well but here's my phone second item is my keys and I keep my phone and my keys in these two in these two front pockets so the bigger one I put the phone and the smaller one I put the keys and here's my wallet. This is a new wallet from Coach as well. I got it uh, a few months back as well. And I really like this one because it's nice and thin. I like my wallets nice and thin and small. And it just opens up, up like that. So really nice. And you guys might be finding a phase at the moment. I like my items purple. <laughs> I have a shopping list from yesterday because we went out shopping for Mother's Day. So I got a little shopping list. Um, some receipts from the post office. Oh, I'm not sure what this is. A post-it note with some information on it. I also got a ticket to Wildlife World. I went there about two weeks ago and personally speaking, I don't enjoy it that much anymore because they've minimized the area of the Wildlife World so it's much more smaller now but it's still same as like it's still expensive uh, so I don't really recommend you guys to go. A Chloe perfume sample and a business card from a priest we met up with also I have some Milky Way chocolate bars I'm not sure for you guys but when I get really really hungry I get low sugar levels so I feel dizzy so I need them with me just in case for these emergency times that I don't have food with me nearly drop one hand sanitizers um, for hygiene purposes obviously and my coin pass I believe I showed it to you guys before and it's a Arlington coin purse. I find this is the easiest coin purse I have. I have plenty of train tickets in here that I use stuffed, so I should chuck them away. I have the most recent one and my student card is in here. A Despicable Me sticker. <laughs> and my apartment um, door card. Also I have a notepad here and I know it says 2012 and we're in 2013 but this is actually a diary James got last year thinking that he will use it for a diary but he never got around using it so I'm just picking it up now and putting my video ideas in here 
and other little notes that I write down. So yeah, always use your product if you can't find the proper use to it. Like I picked this up and used it as a note. Also a little compact mirror. This one's just from a freebie from Olay. And mirror inside. This is the slimmest one I have, so it's just easy to bring around. Also some lip products. So this one is the Revlon Lip Butters. This one is in Trudy Fruity. A L'Oreal lipstick in Ferris Nude, one of the famous ones. And a Cleanse Instant Light Lip Gloss. This is in the sample version. Here is a little beauty bag in it. Uh, you guys might have realized I don't actually bring a lot of makeup around because I just find myself not touching up a whole lot. So I don't want to put that much things in my bag and not using it. So here is my absolute essentials for beauty purposes. A little lip conditioner. So this is still my Elizabeth Arden lip conditioner with the tiniest bit to go. A clean and clear oil blotting paper. These are essential in my makeup bag. A L'Occitane hand cream sample. I got this from a magazine and I think this is the perfect size to keep in your handbag because it's nice and small and it's still enough to like last you a while. A Chloe perfume sample. This is one of these things that I like when you buy perfume. You just ask them for samples. So here's a little one. A nose smelling thing because um, I have allergies and when I do I find smelling these kind of things actually helps get rid of that itchy feeling in the nose and also when you get blocked nose this works wonders so this is a Vicks inhaler clear stuffy nose a cool mint mouth freshener spray thing and my good old Listerine strips the reason I got these two together is actually for a period of time I didn't have any of this around and I didn't have time to buy it so I just ran into a chemist to buy this one and I thought you know it's good to go. It's still pretty similar as in you still get the minty feeling but it's actually quite strong so I still recommend the Listerine strips. And of course some band-aids as well you know when you have heels or flats. The very last items in here you guys might find weird, they're actually little bobby pins. I'll just show you one. Little bobby pins like this. And the reason I keep these is because they're rose gold. I just find them really pretty. So I keep them in here. And this little purse here is actually from Mimco. The center is rose gold and this zipper is rose gold. And of course the reason I got this is because it's rose gold. So yeah. The very last items in my bag is actually in this compartment, so it's zipped up and it's just area to keep my girl stuff and also a card from Coach, so it's the care instructions for this bag. I keep it in there. So that's everything in my bag. It's nice and empty now. And you guys might have realized that I don't actually carry a lot in my bag and that's because I have a really weak shoulder. So if I carry a heavy load on my shoulder, it becomes sore really fast and when it becomes sore, it kind of becomes unbearable. So I try to avoid carry a heavy load in my bag. One thing I remember during filming that today is actually Mother's Day. So I wish all the mothers in the world a very, very happy Mother's Day. And I guess that wraps everything up. So that's everything in my bag. And so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And until next time, bye! Another thing I remember is next week we're actually going on to the RSPCA Million Pole Walk. So our little one right here is going on the 3K walk again. Yeah, today she's actually having a sore eye. So this eye right now, it's a bit sore. So she doesn't like people touching it or even looking at it. So yeah. I hope it gets better next week, darling. Hmm. Okay. Say bye to everyone. Bye.